to Grandy Sunshine's YouTube channel, and this is Grandy Sunshine. Listen, episode two of season three for you on the Soso family. But nobody was able to answer what happened in the last episode. If you guys would go back, watch the ending, you would see where I messed up. And that is during the role for Teresa. Teresa aged up, and so in the legacy, we gotta figure out if we want her to move out or stay. We did a number roll, and it came out that she is supposed to move out. Though when I did the roll, somehow in the middle of it, my brain rolled and I ended up switching the answers. So on the number roll, she is supposed to move out. She's gonna move out to Forgotten Hollow. Now, I have a build I'd like to put her in, and since she won't be part of the legacy anymore, I don't see as that being a problem. Okay, but first let's talk about the legacy challenge light. The legacy challenge light, as you can see, I brought it up on the screen. I'll link it in the description at the bottom of the video. It says, if you're someone that enjoys the idea of a legacy challenge, but has always been too intimidated to try to wade through the pages of rules and scores um, then this new light version is perfect for you um, it says getting started create your sim which I obviously already have done because we're in the first generation of my legacy all right and it says once the sim is created then you move them on to a 50 by 50 or 64 by 64 lot okay so I took him to Oasis Springs Bonnie he is Native American so I felt that was just more appropriate for um, where I was going with it so the succession law that I chose patriarchy the founder must be a male only boys are eligible to be named heirs unless there are no male children at which point girls become eligible for the generation that's what I chose in this legacy um, gameplay rules no cheats hacks mods uh, that give you an advantage in um, the challenge over someone that does not use them okay so I would didn't do any of that I did not restart the game with any bad events um, I may not move or merge in Sims into the legacy family with the exception of Sims that will aid and bring in in the next generation. They must remain on the lot for the duration of the challenge. All right, so I picked this large lot and I will show you more of it as we get into the game. That a Sim must utilize and may utilize an anti-aging item once in their lifetime. All right, you may not change a sim's current aspiration. This one bugs me, but okay. Sometimes I just think it'd be neat to be able to jump around and, and whatever. Okay, the exception um, is when they fully complete that aspiration, and then you can go ahead and, and change it. All right, you may not bring a sim back from the dead once the reaper has taken them. You may plead with the reaper, though. We did that for Guani, and he lived for one day longer after the Reaper led him. Uh, I think it was one day. It might be two. And then he died right before Teresa was born. All right. You may not move or marry out the Sim who currently holds title of the heir. All of the other children in the generation and the spares may move or marry out. Once a Sim moves out, they are ineligible to to be an heir even if conditions change that might make them the rightful heir okay when playing a legacy challenge your legacy family is the only family you may play in the save file you may move in new families into the neighborhood during the challenge keep in mind that they can be used as friends but no spouses that sucks but okay and you must use the random trait generator to get traits and aspirations for all children born adopted into the family which i have been doing you may use any of the expansion packs and game stuff freely choose how to use them or not since you are no longer keeping score of the challenge there is no need to have additional rules for these packs 
Okay, so moving in other sins. You may move in primary spouse to help bring in the next generation. They can be any gender, and you're just, your sins do not need to be married for them to count. They just need to be living together. If the sim that moves in brings money with them, make sure that you cheat the money back down to what it was before they moved in. This spouse can have a job and do anything else your sims do with the household. Having children. Regardless of your succession law, you may always introduce children into your family via pregnancy or adoption. Bloodline law will be determined which is eligible to be the heirs. All right. With the addition of the Sims 4 get to work, all alien babies can also be brought into the family, and then so on and so forth. So, uh, regardless of their status, when an infant ages into a toddler, you must use this rule for toddler traits. So there is a separate one for toddler traits, and I may, I think I've used it on all of them. I get this family mixed up with another one of my families and it's ridiculous because I come into this pile and I go to their house and I'm like oh, mini heart attack every freaking time <laughs> every freaking time and then I have to go oh wait a minute you're in the wrong file you're you're looking for the wrong family <laughs> okay so there is an option here to generate both aspirations and all three traits for sim at once so you can read through this I, like i said i'm gonna link it and so ending the challenge is, is that i get to the 10th generation so we're on generation one and the reason why the seasons it seems like i'm in season three right now is because i took really long hiatuses between a couple of these seasons and did not update and did not play the game uh due to one hardship or another in real life world and so that is why it's played out and I just started a new season when I came back so you might only find that there's a couple seasons in each or I'm sorry a couple episodes in each season okay and um, that'll change this will become more consistent especially with your support of course it has this little random trait generator that you fill out with the parents traits and then it'll randomize uh, and generate a trait for the child. All right. So give me just one moment and I'll be right back. All right, let's hope the door's unlocked. We'll see. Yeah. There's a lot to be fixed. Why is he so sad? Why won't he go to his room? Let's see, go over here. Let's see. Send it to him. And send. All right, and there we go. So I don't know if you recognize his wife. He met her at the college while he was going there, so. What is she doing? She's not liking it being a mess. Okay. Let's see. Hire. Oh, it won't let her hire one. Interesting. Alza. <laughs> All right, so why don't we just speed everything up a little bit here? E2, what are you supposed to be doing? Okay, so he's off work for two days. Let's speed it up and see if we can get him some rest and then go visit his sister at her new house. All right. What's he need? Okay. 
I don't know. Oh, someone's at the door. Let's see. Who is this? Oh, what is he doing? This is his ex-girlfriend. His ex-girlfriend. Uh-oh. I had to, sorry. <laughs> Let's see, what's going on? What's he upset about? If your significant other isn't around, how can you know what they're doing and who they're doing it with? Okay, oh yes, he's got the jealous trait. Some people love art, but everyone loves popular artists. Talk of the town. No. Um, I'm right here. Ooh, he's not happy, is he? <laughs> She go on potty or something or asking him to meet her at the bush what was that I think she's really trying to cause problems right now okay Where's this? there's the wife what's going on is she going to is she going to check what he was doing? Maybe she's going to see if there's room over here in the family. Uh-huh. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. It does that every now and then. She's going to talk to Eva. Oh. Oh my goodness. She's still here. Oh, how good that cereal smells. <laughs> He's so super annoyed. It's insane. Look at that face. Oh, maybe he should just ask her to leave. Uh-huh. Let him bend to his sister. Sorry, guys. All right. <gasps> oh, here comes his wife. Oh, it stinks. She says it stinks of skank.
I want to look at her moodlets. Oh, okay, okay. She's combating a cold. He's going to go take a nap in the pea bush. Oh, why is she mourning his mom so badly? That's interesting. They barely knew each other. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Them two passed each other, not even knowing it. All right, here we go. Everybody behold, this is Teresa's new home. So, like what's going on? Oh, so part of it disappears. Anyway, as you can see, there is a graveyard and a mausoleum. I don't know if it'll let me go in here. Should set that as the front door, I forgot. So this is the entrance, and then you come down here, and this is the apartment. With the hidden entrance. You go straight to her. She hasn't gone crazy and is going to eat them. But this here, I just renovated and added this whole downstairs layer. Um, and I had to fix a few things because it wasn't working correctly. Um, and so then I found that it still didn't transfer some of the doors and some of one of the baby bassinets and so on and so forth. I wonder where she is. Interesting. Oh, 
there she is. <laughs> we'll have him wake her up. they become best friends. Let's tell him about his ex-girlfriend showing up. Let's tell him. Let him tell the story. Oh, now he's upset because he's thinking about it. I heard what a great person you are. Would you be interested in making a generous donation to the charity? What charity? Hmm. Let's do it. Oh, he's getting super tired. So let's see. Let's go ahead and have him go home. All right. So fast forward. All right. So we got to come up with a game plan here. So do we want E2 to, to go ahead and return to college and start a family at the same time and work? Or should we just have him go ahead and take a career? and start a family because no matter what he needs to start a family so that's which which hard do we choose and right now we can work on starting a family all right here we go Let's see how she feels about this she may say no said yes. Maybe not. Might not be expecting. Hmm. What did he want to do? Let's start with his dad. Alright guys, so I just want to say thank you and for all your support. Like and subscribe. Don't forget because I'm going to be bringing back a social family series and I got a couple more ideas. And I'd really like your input, so leave me some comments down there, and I'll leave some links of all the good stuff, okay? Anyway, SparkSoft I'm using here, this cam software. Anyway, you guys uh, stay safe, alright? Enjoy your weekend.